Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Saturday, the 19th day of October 2024. Happy weekend. I bring news update. Reactions trail the emergence of the first Igbo man as the Imam of the National Mosque. Oh, yes. That's what is happening now. In what could be described as a change of order, the management of the Abuja National Mosque has appointed Professor Elias Osman. As the first ever, as the first ever, Igbo Muslim Imam of the mosque, according to reports, the new Imam who delivered in the synagogue, could bar, summon, during the Juma prayer on Friday, has joined the two active Imams, that's Professor Ibrahim Makari and Professor Muhammad Kabir, in leading the Juma and daily congregational prayers on rotational basis, as the fourth Imam. Sheikh Ahmad Onilewura from Southwest Nigeria has been on sick leave and absent from leading prayers for an extended period. Oh, yes. Now, his appointment has been widely celebrated by the Muslim community, particularly among the Southeast Muslim organizations of Nigeria, SEMON. Yes, this group called SEMON, the Southeast Muslim organizations of Nigeria, they are northerners who live in the Southeast and practice uh, Muslim or Islam. Yes, northerners, they live in the southeast, of course, you know, you have Hausa quarters, okay? Yes, I'm Hausa in almost all the cities and towns in the southeast, so they have organization, and they are known as uh, Southeast Muslim Organization of Nigeria, Semon. Now, in a statement, this group called Semon congratulated uh, Professor Osman, describing his appointment as a reflection of his dedication to Islamic scholarship and leadership. The group emphasized that the appointment is not only a significant personal achievement for the new Imam, but also a divine responsibility to lead the Muslim community in worship and service to Allah. The body also highlighted the inclusiveness of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs under the leadership, under the leadership of the President General and Sultan of Sokoto Al Haji Muhammad Sada Bakar. Now, the group expressed hope that Professor Osman's appointment would uplift the Igbo, the Igbo Muslim community and promote unity within the broader Nigerian Muslim population. Part of the statement of the group in a task form quote, We the Southeast Muslim Organization of Nigeria extend our heartfelt congratulations to Professor Elias Osman on your recent appointment as an Imam of the National Mosque Abuja. End of quote. Now this is what is happening now. Oh yes. This man has been appointed, he said it's Elias Osman, yes, as the first Igbo, like they said, of the National Mosque in Abuja. And people have been reacting. Now, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, in the last concluded uh, charade, yes, in, in the charade they conducted in 2023, yes, so, talking about Mr. Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, has joined in reacting to it. Yes, in Obi's statement, quote, I extend my warmest congratulations to the newly appointed chief imam of National Mosque, Professor Elias Usman. This significant appointment reflects your dedication, wisdom, and exceptional leadership. May Allah grant you the wisdom and strength to carry out the special spiritual assignment and may you exemplary service to Islam, the Muslim community and the nation help to engender the much needed peace by deepening spirituality in our national lives. I trust that your tenor will continue to foster peace, unity and prosperity in our beloved country. May the Almighty Allah continue to guide and protect you in the discharge of your duties. End of quote. Now, this is what is happening now. They said this is, uh, oh, people have been reacting. The Muslim community in Nigeria, they have been congratulating him. You have seen the, if you see the level of millions of congratulations who pouring in and pouring in and pouring in from the Muslim community in Nigeria to this man. Yes, they said he's the first Igbo to be, the, 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 to be, to be leading the Abuja National Mosque. As the Imam, yes, as the Imam, he'll be leading in prayers, okay? 
to that is why this conversation is coming. Imagine, oh yes, the issue of uh, the Islam, it didn't start today in Nigeria. Oh yes, it didn't start today. Yes, for century, not just a decade, century, it has spanned to century, if not centuries. Okay, getting to two, three centuries. Yes, Islam, Islamic movement in Nigeria has spanned up to centuries in Nigeria, not just in Africa. So, and we're in 2024, and the first Igbo man is being appointed as the Abuja, as the Imam of the Abuja National Mosque. It shows the level of acceptance of the religion by the Igbo. Yes, so this is for some guy. You have seen a for some guy. Yes, they have been pouring in us. Say, oh, we are celebrating him. Talking about the Muslim community, we are celebrating him. They are not on us, yes. Now, you have seen the Igbo man to be praying for you in your mosque. But you will not find him you know, suitable to lead the country as the president, as the commander in chief. But you are pouring in congratulations, congratulations, because he will be leading in prayers in your own religion. But this amiable man is not being found worthy to lead you. So this imam will not be praying for Biafra, right? In Muslim. Because when you say, oh, Nibu Ma, we want to become president, say, oh, he will bring Biafra. You want him to, dis to, to, to disorganize the country. Yes? Oh, you want him to bring a chaos. Okay? They will be saying all these things. So those uh, people, those political elites, those uh, full and oligarchs in the north, where are they before this man appointed uh, Imam? So this man will not uh, lead the prayers against the northerners. They will not be leading the prayer in favor of the southeast or the Biafras. Yes, we're asking them. Now they are pouring all congratulations. We're asking, so he will not lead the prayers in favor of Biafra. Why are you appointing him? Good thing, the man is answering Elias Osman, so it's not even an evil man. But his identity has been lost. Yes. He's not, he's, if, if he's actually an evil man, this uh, Elias Osman, is, has lost his Igbo identity. That's the point. Where is identity? Because he will be dressing like an Islam, as an Islamic scholar. Yes? So, what about his name to show that he's an Igbo man? We are not seeing his Igbo name here? Yes? So, Elias Osman, which one is Igbo here? Elias Osman. So, he has lost his Igbo identity. I don't know why they are, they are referring to him as an Igbo man. But the point, the point is that why are they jubilating, rejoicing? And pouring in, saying all oh, and congratulating you know messages to him. We ask him whether he will not change Islam to Biafra. Yes, Abuja Mosque. Whether he will not change Abuja Mosque to the to to be the Biafra. Yes, because this is what we have been seeing here. Conspiracy theory against Ibo. Ibo will not become the commander in chief. Well, the chief is too, is too high. We're talking about the chief of family staff, chief of, uh, you know, the defense uh, chief, talking about uh, CDS, chief of defense staff. No, the woman will not become security, national security advisor. No, no, it's very sensitive. Can you give you a woman a sensitive position like that? They will change everything to be afraid of. That's what they've been saying. There are many, many, there are many former heads of state that are from northerners, they're, they're all Fulani and they are Muslim. They have been working against the Igbo interests. They have been working against the Igbo interests all the time, all the time, all of them, all the heads of, heads of states from that region. Of course, they are only from that region. They, 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 they are only seen a passenger from the southwest. All the rest, the head of states, or the heads of states, they are all from the north, apart from the passenger and six months that Agirensi state, who is the first head of state of Nigeria. He stayed only six months, Agirensi, and Obas and from the southwest. The whole, all of them from 1966 or 1967, 66, to this day, you only have only from one, only six months from the southeast to Biafra, and you have only one from the southwest. Yes, I am not an ass. They will not allow the man to be there. So the ones have rejected it for them. 
the presidency, said, continue your presidency. We are seeking for our own country, a country of our own. Yet, they will not allow Nibu. So, this one, we have said it. Yes. You are seeing Nibu man. Oh, it's, a, it's now a mosque in Abuja. A imam of national mosque in Abuja. So, he will convert it to, to Biafra. We are warning. This Igbo man will convert this place to Biafra. Uh, that's what we are saying. So, those who go and said, we congratulate you pouring in, in communes and congratulate the messages.